Hello and welcome back to my channel, Homemade Mathematics. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much. If not, I would love you to join the team. Today's video is going to be looking at solving multi-step equations. So this could mean a variety of things. Um, if you haven't already, you're going to want to know the basics first, so how to solve one-step and two-step equations, as well as solving equations with x on both sides. So after the two-step equations, we have our multi-step equations, which would include equations where x is on both sides of the equation, which I did a video on um, that you could go check out. And then also problems where you have to simplify or distribute first before you can solve. All right, so you're going to have to do something first before you get to the two-step equation part. Um, you're going to have to do some simplifying. So I have three examples here that show a variety of different multi-step equations. All right, so number one, you can see on the right-hand side, we have negative 7x plus 3x. So this one um, is a multi-step because we have to combine like terms first. All right, if your like terms are not already combined on the same side, like that negative 7x and 3x, you need to combine those first. All right, so that would get us negative 4x equals 28. And then now it's just a one-step equation. We have negative 4 times x. So to get rid of multiply, we're going to divide both sides by negative 4. And we get x equals negative 7. Always check your answers because you can guarantee you got it right. Right, so I just plugged in negative 7 for x, solved it out, and I got both sides were equal. So we know negative 7 works, and that is the correct answer. All right, number two, we have parentheses. So whenever you have parentheses with a number on the outside, not separated by a add or subtract sign, that means we need to distribute, which means multiply onto every term on the inside. So we have 4x and negative 8. So we need our negative 3 to go on to both of those. All right, if you would like to see a video on how to distribute a more in-depth video, go ahead and comment that down below or any other videos you'd like to see. So anyways, I'm going to multiply that negative 3 on to 4x to get negative 12x, and then negative 3 times negative 8 to get a positive 24. Now that I have distributed, it's just a two-step equation. So I'm going to get rid of my add or subtract first always. So instead of plus 24, right, we're trying to get x by itself here. So we want to get rid of that by subtracting 24. Do it to both sides. Right, A positive 24 and a negative 24 would get me 0. They'd cancel. And a negative 36 minus 24, right, they're both negative. So that means we're going to add them up and keep the negative sign, right? We're getting a larger negative number if, they're, if we're combining two negatives. Okay, and then from here, it's a one-step equation. How do we get rid of negative 12 times x? We divide. Right, a negative 60 divided by a negative 12 would get us a positive five. Again, we are going to check that. And I got negative 36 on both sides. So that means x equals 5 does work. And that is the correct answer. All right, my last one here. It looks big and scary, but it's not. All right, we just have to distribute first, right? Wherever you see those parentheses with the number on the outside, we're going to distribute. So this time we just have two places. We have it on both sides of the equal sign. So we have our 3 that we have to distribute, and we also have our negative 6 we have to distribute. So that's going to be our first step, get rid of those parentheses by distributing. All right, 3 times 8 is going to get us 24. 3 times 8x would get us 24x. 
negative 6 times x would get us negative 6x. Negative 6 times negative 4 would get us a positive 24. All right, from here, I'm going to combine any like terms that are on the same side if you can. Okay, from here, you might have to just go straight into solving. But I notice on my left side of the equation, I have a negative 10x and a 24x. Those are like terms. I can combine those to get 14x. So over here, I'm going to combine those to get 14x. And then I still have that 24. And then over on my right hand side, those are not like terms. So I can't combine anything there. Right from here, it is like my problems where I have x on both sides, which I said I do have a completely separate video on just those types of problems if you want something more in depth. Um, but pretty much I'm going to try to get all my x's on one side and then my constants on the other side. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that negative 6x on the right hand side by adding a positive 6x because those would just cancel. So that I have zero plus 24, which is just 24, but I have to do it to both sides. Those would cancel, like I said, and we'd be left with 24. And then on the left-hand side, I have to write that six X can't go with 24, but it can go with its like term, All right? So 14 X and six X combined would get us 20 X plus 24 equals 24. Um, so I'm going to subtract 24 from both sides now. I get 20x equals 0, which means x would have to equal 0, right? Because 20 times what gets you 0? Zero? 0 times anything is 0. All right, that seems a little suspicious to me, but we can always have an answer of x equals 0. But if you ever doubt yourself, what can we do to guarantee it's right? Check it. Okay, so I'm going to, anywhere where there's an x, I'm going to put a 0, and let's see if this thing works out. So we have negative 10 times 0, 8 times 0, and then 0 minus 4. All right, so this is obviously 0 minus 4 is going to get me negative 4 times negative 6, which would get me a positive 24. All right, left side's a little trickier, I think. We'll see. So we have negative 10 times 0, which is just going to be 0. All right, and our parentheses here, right, that's going to just cancel to get 0. So we have 3 times, really, it's just 8. Right, that's 0, so that's gone. So three, that's 3 times 8, 24. It did work out. We got the same thing on both sides. So that means our answer of x equals zero is correct. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see and subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks and we'll see you next time.